I'm Mr. Sam, the allotment man. And this is my dad's garden. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Today we are in my dad's garden. Now, who is my dad and is he any good at gardening? We're going to find out, but first of all, let's see who we are dealing with. So here we are. This is my dad. That's right. Everyone's got one. Some of us don't talk about them, but we're talking about mine today. We've come all the way to Norfolk to see his six toes and his vegetable patch. So, Dad, mm. let's go and have a look at the plot. Come on. Now let's see what we've got. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's get down and dirty. Right then everybody, it's a special treat today because my dad is bending down. He doesn't happen very often, but today he's done it specially for us. So, uh, dad, what have we got in the vegetable patch here today? Leeks. Leeks? We've got leeks. And these are the catch crop, which are the lettuce. The cash crop. Catch. Catch crop. Catch. Catch. Catch crop. There you go. Catch. Catch. Meaning, crop. right crop. Meaning you put them in, in between the, these take longer, so you put those in and you catch them. Right. Quickly. There you go. Catch <coughs> crop. There we are. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, there will be subtitles later on. Right, and what else have we got? Uh, these are well eaten. Well uh, eaten. Is that a type of crop or is no, that? No, that's a brassica. That's a brassica. Um, we know all about brassicas. And they're well eaten by the uh, cabbage white Bla butterflies. Butterflies. Yes, butterflies. And they eat them. <laughs> so you plant them, and yeah. then they eat them. You you plant them. So you're feeding butterflies, really. Mm. It's very generous of you. Very good indeed. Yeah. So there we are. Um, there's our cabbages being eaten by the butterflies. <laughs> Excellent. Butterflies. Right, okay then. Um, let's have a look at something else. Uh, my dad's actually. Else. No, well, you've told me about your carrots. He's very uh, proud of his carrots. Uh, let's go and have a, a look at the carrots. Yes, sure. <laughs> so then, here we are at the carrot patch. Uh, they've been doing very well, and my dad's actually gone inside the house just quickly to get himself a glass of wine so we can have a little look. So here we are. Uh, we've got a nice row of carrots here, and uh, they're looking quite fine and proud. Oh, actually, here he comes now. Ooh. So, Dad, tell me, how long have you been growing these carrots for? Uh, five months. Five sure. yeah, months. Five there months. we go, ladies and gentlemen. Five months. Um, can we harvest one of your carrots? Yes, of course you can. There we go. Look at that, that was remarkably easy to harvest. Well, it's a tilth. Fine tilth. The fine tilth. You've obviously been a keen viewer. Uh, oh, there yes. we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Carrots, five months and a fine tilth. And you can have a carrot as clean, as perfect, and as perfect as this. So, there we are. Uh, and now I think we should go and look at some more gems around the garden. So then, iceberg lettuces. We all like to grow them because they're expensive in the shops. My dad is a keen iceberg lettuce grower, as you can see. Unfortunately, I don't think he's watered them very much indeed. And to be honest, it, uh, no, it's too late. No, too late. I mean, look at them. Too late. There we are. A lesson to us all. If you don't water them, you'll lose them. Let's move on. Right, so here are my dad's runner beans. We all like to grow runner beans because they're easy. This is my dad's best crop because it's easy. So here we go. Lots of things here. Uh, I'm struggling to actually find some decent beans, but I've been told that they've been picked already today. So there you are. Daddy's <coughs> runner, what? runner bean. There you go. Yeah, we know what beans look like. Runner beans, everybody. Let's go and have a look in the greenhouse. There you go. So we've got some basil and we have cucumbers. Uh, we've got these two cucumbers.
cucumbers here, and we've got this cucumber there. And we've got tomatoes and a banana. Uh, now I've been told reliably, well, this is from my dad, so it could be made up, you never know, that if you have a banana in with your tomatoes, uh, it will let off a gas, not unlike my father. Um, but yes, that gas will be uh, emitted around the greenhouse and will make your tomatoes ripen quicker. Uh, we've got lots of green tomatoes, so you never know, it might work. So there we are, we have got tomatoes, uh, cucumbers and basil and a banana. A little tip for you there. Moving on. So here we are at the base of the greenhouse. Here we go, we have got lettuces. As we can see, the same success has been brought into the greenhouse as out in the iceberg lettuce box. And uh, moving on over to this direction here, we have got mint. Uh, it's growing really well. If you can't grow mint, you might as well not be a gardener, to be honest. It's more like a weed. Uh, and of course, an orange bucket. Everyone should have one and fill it up with rubbish. There you go. Let's move on to somewhere else. So. There we are, our little tour around my dad's garden. We've all got a dad and so they've do you want a cup of tea? And we've all got a mum. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Oh, okay. All right, there's my mum and there's my dad. So there you are. My dad's garden. Hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> hope it's been a bit of fun. And as the sun goes down on this merry land, I hope you all have happy growing. <laughs>